as they come down, um, it really uh, reminds me of the conversation we just had about uh, our Black and Brown Forum uh, of Educational Equity and Excellence, uh, because it really is one that highlights uh, how we continue across this county uh, to showcase the excellence that our kids have uh, when it comes to uh, their ability to excel in so many different areas. Come on around, guys. Come on around. And so I want to start off by saying, because a lot of people don't know what AXO is. Uh, AXO was created in 1978. And the reason why AXO was created, uh, it's the African American Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics. Why does it roll off my tongue? Because 29 years ago, I participated in this. Yes, I'm dating myself, and that's okay. I've come to grips with my 30-year uh, anniversary for graduating from high school next year. It's crazy. Um, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. I still do. I still remember at the local level competing at the AXO level and finding out that I won a gold medal. And I also remember uh, when we were in California and they had started to say from silver and before they got to spring, um, my mother ha was already halfway up the aisle <laughs> before I had even gone anywhere. Uh, and for those of you who know my mother, they know uh, that's, that's a perfect description. Um, but it was amazing. Uh, and I truly have to say that uh, AXO was created because we saw that there were continued equity inequities when it came to uh, access for folks in being able to showcase their talents uh, and being able to understand that uh, from a culturally sensitive perspective that there were other ways in which people could express themselves and see that as talent. Um, spoken word is something that we have now embraced uh, as a culture generally but it's something that back then was seen as not poetry. It was seen as not something that was accepted. It wasn't that long ago. And so again, this gave an opportunity for a lot of young people to shine and to showcase their talents and to make sure that people also understood in the community how great and how awesome all of our kids are. You don't have to come from privilege you can always excel and succeed if you're supported and given the opportunity. And that's what's represented behind me. It is interesting that we have children from all over the county. It's not just the W clusters, no offense. <laughs> These kids are coming from everywhere and doing great things. So, AXO has about 32 competitions in humanities, business, performing, and visual and culinary arts. Uh, it's led by a great leader, and I think Pat started right after I, Pat, when did you start? Yeah, so Pat's been leading our NAACP AXO, so let's give her a round of applause for what she's done. Because it's really important to continue to have uh, this, highlight, this program highlighted and for these young people to be supported. So. Um, I'm going to turn over to uh, Council Member Joano to say a few words, and then I want to introduce each of our AXO uh, winners. So, Council Member Joano. Thank you, Council Member Rice, and it's just really exciting to be up here with all of our amazing winners. Uh, I had the great opportunity to send them off right while they were doing their final preparations to go off and win as they did, and uh, I've also seen them perform. I don't know, I don't want to single out anybody, but this little guy here is like a great singer. Um, and all of them are great, they're all winners, but um, it's just amazing, whether it's poetry, gymnastics, dancing, science, uh, you name it. As Councilmember Rice said, our students are amazing, uh, and AXO really has provided, and I also was a participant a few years after Mr. Rice, um, even though he looks so very young. Um, and, but it really provides opportunity for students to showcase their talents in a, way, in a way that's understanding with teachers and support staff and parents who are supportive of them. Uh, and so I'm really glad that we're honoring everybody here today. Um, and we're gonna have to bring some of you back to perform. I was just thinking that, so we're gonna have to work on that. But um, we have Black History Month coming up. They also do a great um, poetry competition uh, that AXO sponsors that many of us go to every year. So I just wanna thank Pat and all the teachers and parents that have supported you. Uh, and let's just give them all real one round of applause real quick, thank you. 
And Councilmember Jawando, thank you so much for highlighting that because it is really important to understand that our uh, administrators and our teachers who are supporting our kids, ensuring that they have this ability uh, are really great. And so uh, some of them are here with us as well and we'll let them introduce themselves as I go through. But first and foremost, Mwanza Makuka. Mwanza? So Mwanza was a gold medalist uh, at Thomas Wooten in drawing. I told her, and if you look at this absolutely gorgeous drawing, done by pencil. Wow. Yes, done by pencil. I want to buy it right now. I'm actually, I'm, trust me, I'm an auctioneer. I promise you I could sell this for a lot of money. You and I are going to go into business. Mwanza not only won a gold medal locally, but also won a national gold medal. Give her a round of applause, folks. Well done. Frederica Diebke? Oh, she's not here. Okay, so Frederica actually won a national bronze medal in poetry uh, from Northwest High School, and currently she's at University of Albany, so we have to give her a little bit of a, uh, 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 an, ex an excuse for not being here today. Gabrielle Kramer, our local gold medalist in ballet, uh, came from Northwood High School. She's currently at University of Maryland College Park, go Terps, uh, so unfortunately she couldn't be here. But we do have Kyle Dalrymple, who's a local gold medalist, instrumental classical music and original essay from Richard Montgomery High School. Kyle? Stay up here. So now this next young lady uh, is, is doing a number of things as well. Uh, not only is she a local gold medalist in oratory from Northwest High School, but she's also a finalist, one of 10 for our council member for a day, and that's Ajo Ivanla. And then we have Lancy Keir, a local gold medalist in poetry from Paint Branch, and she's not here. Okay, she couldn't be here. And then we have uh, Patrick Kerwin, a local gold medalist in playwriting from Albert Einstein High School. He's at Ohio University, so you see they're going off and doing great things. Uh, Ronnie Ward, our local gold medalist in short story from Walter Johnson High School. Congratulations. Then we have Consuela Watts, local gold medalist in vocal contemporary from Northwood High School. And then Kelvin Dukes uh, from James Hubert Blake High School. So again, um, what I want to do is turn this over to Pat, uh, and Pat, just say a few words about uh, how great these kids are. We've heard it before, but come on over. Pat Price, guys. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. A special thanks, obviously, to County Council Member Craig Rice, who is also, as he indicated, an AXO alum. He's the example that we often provide to our students. Thank you, Council Member Will Jawando, for also being here and for um, presenting our students at our AXO competition and giving them a great send off before the competition started and also an AXO alum, which we will now note. We didn't have that information. I would like all the parents that are here to please stand up, even if you're in the audience. And some of our parents are here. Our students would not be able to do what they do without your support. So we really want to thank and honor you. And please stand up, Natasha. She's representing her parent who could not be here. She is Mwanza's sister. So we, we thank you all for your support. And I cannot go without saying thank you to Melissa McKenna, which is, she's here, oh, she's right there. Uh, she is a big supporter of the AXO program, and um, our student, Mwanza Makoko, was the benefactor of her generosity. So we always are in need of funds to help our students. This is an all-volunteer program. Our students are amazing. 
It is such a joy and honor and a privilege to work with them and to escort them on this journey. The talents and the wisdom that they bring to the program each year is just a privilege and just a joy to see students who are passionate about whatever it is that they do and they bring that to our local competition and to our enrichment seminars. We generally have two per month. They are also free and open to all. I just want to say a huge thanks to the students who are here and the students who are unable to be here today. I'd also like uh, the principals to raise their hands who have <laughs> supported um, our students. And a very special thanks to an Axel liaison, Lily Greenlee, if you would just step forward so people can see you. It is a challenge to um, have students compete and compete at such a high level. Northwest High School, which she has shepherded those students, has had a national medalist three years in a row. And that's amazing. It's very difficult to medal at that level, but to have three years in a row from the same school is even more amazing. It says something about Ms. Greenlee and the leadership at Northwest. That is not to disparage any of the other schools who have not had medalists three years in a row. Um, but that's just to say the dedication that Ms. Greenlee brings to the students. She fights to get these students that are so talented and so full of energy each year. And AXO is the beneficiary of that. And also just being recognized at a national level from students across the country. It is a joy and a privilege. I also want to thank my co-chair, Laura Dennis, who I'm monitoring to come to the mic to just say a few words. Um, she has been an extraordinary co-worker and colleague, and we would not have been as successful as we were without her leadership, guidance, and really hard work. Thank you so much, Pat. And I just can't tell you how proud we are of all the students here. These students are multi-talented, even though they may have won in a single category. These students are scientists, they're musicians, they're actors and performers, uh, and they're a, a pure example of the talent that we have in this county. And uh, we really are appreciative of the ability to honor them and recognize their talents today. And I think they represent a lot of other students that will follow in their footsteps in the future. So thank you. All right. So Council Member Juwando, do you want to help me read this proclamation? I'll start off, whereas AXO is a youth initiative of the NAACP that promotes academic and artistic excellence through competitions which showcase the talents of our African American students in categories including STEM, business, humanities, performing arts, visual arts, and culinary arts, and whereas? The 41st Annual National Afro-Academic Cultural Technolo Technological and Scientific Olympics, AXO, competition was held in Detroit, Michigan this year where students could compete in over 32 different competitions and our Montgomery County student delegation embraced the challenge and were victorious in competing against more than 700 students nationwide and whereas two AXO students placed in the 2019 comp national competition, Mwansa Makuka from Wooten received a gold medal for drawing and Frederica Degbe from Northwest earned a bronze medal for written poetry and Whereas additionally, nine local medalists also competed, including Gabrielle Kramer from Northwood High School, Cal Kyle Dalrymple from Richard Montgomery High School, Ajo Ivanla uh, from Northwest High School, Lancey Keir from Paint Branch High School, Patrick Kerwin, Albert Einstein High School, Ronnie Ward, Walter Johnson High School, Consuela Watts, Northwood High School, and Kelvin Dukes, James Hubert Blake High School, 
Now therefore be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland hereby recognizes these talented young men and women and celebrate their artistic and academic achievements in the AXO 2019 national and local competitions presented this 29th day of October in the year 2019, signed by us and our County Council President. Congratulations, Pat, come on over and get this proclamation, come on. All right, so we also have certificates for each of the individuals. Uh, Wanza, I'm actually serious. We're gonna negotiate after this about buying that photo. I would love to see that photo on my wall in my house. <laughs>